Hello, this video will feature a bunch of different assets. I'll go through them and briefly explain which processor you might want to use. First up, we have this jacket. When you want to reduce a big object by a lot, it can generally be a good idea to use the remesher. This jacket has 9 million polygons, and as you can see in my examples, I have reduced this to about 10,000 triangles. First, we have the reduction. As you can see, the result is okay, but probably not good enough to display close up. Here, however, is the remeshing, and you can see that a lot more of the detail is kept, partly thanks to the normal map that will retain some of the detail in the texture instead of in the geometry. So next up is this car. It's almost 10 million polygons. So the question is, which processor should I use here? Just like the jacket, the remeshing will give you a really good result and is reduced by almost 90%. If we look instead at the reduction, you can see that the uneven distribution of polygons makes, for example, the tires look really strange. So now you might ask, when should I use the reduction? Well, one example is any asset that you just want to lightly reduce and you plan on displaying close up. Another use case though is skinned assets. Due to the nature of the remesher, it will merge parts of the asset, though this can be mitigated with some settings. But still, when you run a skinned asset, you will find artifacts where parts of the asset might get merged together, which you do not want. This asset consists of several different objects though. So then you might ask, what if I want to reduce the number of draw calls? That's where the aggregation comes in. This can just merge all the objects in a scene into one. Next up, we have this engine. It consists of lots of different parts, which are grouped together, and as you can see the full asset is 530,000 polygons. What you could do here is select parts of the asset and reduce them separately. This will enable you to retain a lot of the detail in each part while also getting the texture space you need. This is a use case we see all the time from customers, but it's not always easy to know how to use Simplicon in a good way. By doing this, you can create LODs for all the different parts you want to be able to zoom into. For example, look at this yellow part. What if you want to watch this close up? Then you just create a LOD for far distance, and then you can make a high detail one for close-up inspection. For my last asset, I have this very simple scene with lots of boxes in it. What I want to show here is the ability for the aggregation component to retain the UVs, and by doing this, you can actually reuse duplicated UVs that several objects use into one, and therefore save a lot of texture space. The remesher is unable to do this because it rebuilds the UVs and rebuilds the entire asset into new polygons. So, to summarize, the remeshing can remove a lot of polygons, but it has to recreate the materials. The reduction wants to avoid doing very heavy reductions, but it can retain the material like the original. The aggregation can reduce draw calls by combining geometry, but it's slow for very big scenes. But it can also reuse UVs. Mm -hmm.